Well, just around 12 hours after MSU's men's basketball team completed the sweep over the Wolverines, it was the ladies' turn to get in on the rivalry action this afternoon in the 100th meeting between the two programs. The Spartans hadn't won in Ann Arbor since 2019, and after taking game one last month, 82-61, to they had their eyes on making it two MSU wins in Ann Arbor in the last 24 hours. There were over 10,000 fans at the Chrysler Center for this one, the sixth largest crowd in Michigan women's basketball history, and the Wolverines put on a show for the home crowd early on, hitting five threes in the first quarter. Layla Filia buries one here to put Michigan up nine, but MSU reels themselves back into it. Dee Dee Hageman hits the three to put MSU in front. The Spartans led by five at the half. Third quarter, Cameron Williams passes it to Jordan Hobbs for the catch and shoot three, a part of a 16 to three Michigan run to take back control. Once again, MSU had an answer though, clawing back with a 13 and 0 run of their own. Julia Aral buries the triple to tie the game up at 50 apiece. Fourth quarter, Wolverines got not going away. Lauren Hansen drills it from the corner to cut the Spartan lead to three. But time and time again, the MSU defense came up big. Moira Joyner swipes the pass and tosses it ahead to Theron Halleck for the transition lay-in. Spartans up seven. We jump to the final 30 seconds. Michigan down by two and in desperate need of a stop. Instead, Joyner steps up and puts the game on ice, nailing the mid-range jumper to make it a two-possession game with 10 seconds seconds left. Michigan State defeats Michigan 70 to 66. Our Tyler Driesinga was there and has more on how switching to a full court press sparked the Spartans in the second half. Haley, this afternoon was everything that makes rivalries great. Tremendous energy from the crowd, high emotions on both sides, huge momentum swings back and forth, and a down to the wire finish. The final stretch of the third quarter was really the turning point for MSU, and that was this Spartan team at their very best, pressing full court and forcing turnovers. Michigan turned the ball over six times over the course of that 13 0 run, and Michigan State really fed off the energy its defense created. We needed to crank it up. We needed a little something on our side. I thought they were, you know, they were executing, and we were we were just a little bit out of sync on the offensive end. And um, and, and and we like our team speed. That's something we feel we, is an advantage for us. That's something we've really kind of bought into of who we are this season. And I thought that got us back using that. I think a big thing for us is when we get stops. That kind of. Um, generates offense for us. Um, our defense turns into offense. Um, so when we are able to turn that up, we're able to get um, buckets on the other end. This win gives Robin Freilich's squad a sweep of their biggest rival in her first season. It's Michigan State's first sweep of Michigan since the 2018-2019 season. On the flip side, this is a devastating loss for Michigan. Most projections view the Wolverines as a bubble team. They'll have six days off before the pivotal run of the final three games of the regular season in the Big Ten tournament. Reporting from the Chrysler Center in Ann Arbor, I'm Tyler Driesinga, Six Sports.